coming live on my birthday. Sweetie Tiger, it's called Birthday 849. Good morning, everybody. It's Bill and Jessica show. What's up? Good morning. It's going to be sunny and cool today. Highs in the lower 60s. All right. So, J.J. Moses is live on the hotline. He is a former NFL player. He played for Iowa State. Then he went on to play for the Green Bay Packers, the Houston Texans, Arizona Cardinals. He was also listed as the shortest player in the NFL. He's a motivational speaker. And he's got a brand new book out. And he joins us right now, J.J. Moses. Happy to hear from you. How are y'all today? Hey, good morning. Hi. Welcome. Uh, former Iowa State University, former Green Bay Packer, former Houston Texans, former Arizona Cardinals. Yeah, the Packers, Texans, Cardinals, they all need you back right now. They need you. <laughs> they need you. <laughs> good morning. Well, yeah, appreciate well, you checking well, in. Well, I... Feel both of your energy over the phone, and I feel like running through a brick wall right now. <laughs> <laughs> now, look, let me ask you this before we get into your book and all that. Like, watching football now, uh, what, what, like, how long ago did you play? When was the last time you played? Yes, so my last season of playing in the National Football League was in 2005 with the Arizona Cardinals. Okay, so okay. it was a great experience, of course, and time and played on a few different NFL teams, starting off with Kansas City, Green Bay, Houston, Texas, and then the Arizona Cardinals. Well, Kansas City uh, is not desperate, but the rest of them... Oh, they're hurting. They need you back. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, okay, so, so you, you also play wide receiver at Iowa State, so like when football season is, is on, which is now, you know, what do you look forward to the most? Do you look forward to watching Iowa State or do you look forward to watch? Like what team is the team you look forward to watching, you know, even though like maybe it's one you played on or maybe not? You know, I am just a football fan in college, of course, and played football at, you know, within the state of Iowa and Iowa State. But I think the overall, I just love watching even this new new culture and this excitement with college football. And over the last few weeks to even month of watching Deion Sanders uh, yes. you know, yeah. over at Colorado and, and how he's transformed that program and and that and that whole facet in Colorado. Again, I played Iowa at Iowa State, and so we would play Colorado. You know, every season or so, and so I, I, I've known firsthand what's it like to play up at Denver, and just to see the overall um, of how the change has rapidly happened for their program, it's just been amazing. So I'm following pretty much everybody, but I've loved, I've been loved, you know, watching Deion Sanders and, and that coach, his coach over at, you know, with the Buffalo. I know that. So you believe, you believe in Coach Prime? Yeah, you do. Sounds <laughs> like it. <laughs> well, he's been one again. I'm a kickoff and punt returner, right? So, growing up in a small town, you know, one of the you know, amazing players and individuals that inspired me as a young kid was always a Deion Sanders. Yeah. And of course, you know, watching his excitement and how he was able to make play after play. You know, we all wanted to have that prime time type of effect when we played, and so he was always a, a you know player that me throughout my career right right wow that's awesome well look um you know football season is here that's uh you know on the on the top of a lot of people's mind jessica's an eagles fan i'm a washington commanders fan i'm a season ticket holder you know so and, and i'm a maryland fan also you know we're on the eastern shore of maryland so keeping up with those guys and uh you know it's exciting it's just a great time of year yeah we love football Bill and Jessica, absolutely. It's it's an exciting it's an exciting time in sports, and I just love sports because it has a way of bringing everyone together. You know, yeah. whether whatever religion, whatever color, whatever background, and it's actually through the game of sports where I have learned a lot of life lessons, lessons that could be applicable to a person's career. You can apply those lessons in a relationship. You can rely. You can apply this to every facet, and so that's why I'm excited. You know, about my new book entitled "Focus: The Prepare to Win Mindset," which really allows individuals to approach their life, their career, and relationships with an intentional focus, having faith, uh, positivity, and even a resiliency. You know, I believe this type of mindset just allows individuals to leverage the steps while they're trying to achieve their goals and dreams. All right. No, absolutely. Well, that that is the book, Focus, the Prepared uh, to Win Mindset. 
talk to us a little bit about it. Tell us, uh, you know, how uh, what inspired you. I mean, you know, you kind of did already. What what inspired you to write the book? But and then also, uh, you know, tell us about the book. Yes. So, focus the prepare to win mindset. It was released on October the seventeenth. But this has been behind the scenes of what I've crafted and I've worked on for many many years. And so, it's a twenty one tactical step by step that allows individuals to grow both personally and professionally. So in 2018, the NFL, an NFL team brought me into their team and I implemented my focus prepare to win mindset within their team, within the organization. And within the first two years, the NFL ended up ranking it the number one professional and personal development program throughout the whole entire NFL. Wow. And so with that said, it's like I, I wanted to take these lessons and these strategies and make it applicable, not just to an athlete, but to an entrepreneur or if an individual individuals in real estate or they're working within a team department or they're a coach or a leader or whatever facet of life they are in, it will help them to make great decisions, to work well with others, and to be able to uh, communicate effectively. And uh, I love it. Again, it's about really being holistically aligned, mentally, physically, and even spiritually. Wow, that's awesome. And and then I'm also hearing that uh, it was featured on Oprah's Life Class or something. Tell us about that. Yes. So years back, um, of course, with me sharing my stories and You know, one story that I hear is about the importance of how to be prepared for an opportunity. And some of us, you know, we want an opportunity to advance in our career, or we're looking at an opportunity to lead our department in sales, or just an opportunity in whatever area of your life. But one valuable lesson that I've learned was to be prepared and to stay ready and to serve others. So my senior season, when I was playing football, at Iowa State as a wide receiver, many of the coaches and agents thought that I was too small to play. And, you know, standing only five foot six, you know, the odds were 99% of all athletes would not make it into the NFL. I had a better chance of probably being struck by lightning than to actually <laughs> play in the NFL, right? Yeah, the shortest that's player I, listed in the that, NFL. Wow. That, that's right. And so, but I continue, despite the naysayers, despite what the coaches said, as far as me not being able to play in the NFL, I continued to work out. I continued to, I was staying ready. So on a Wednesday morning, after the football season was over with at Iowa State, my quarterback was getting many tryouts from many NFL teams, in particular the Kansas City Chiefs. And so he called me on a Wednesday and said, JJ, can you come to our practice facility? I need somebody to catch some footballs for me. <laughs> so Saturday morning goes around and I told, I told him I would love to be there. And I'm trying to catch all of his footballs and the coaches and the, and the scouts were there with the Kansas City Chiefs. And as the workouts continue to go on and on, the coach walks up behind me and it pulls out a yellow notebook pad and he started saying these words to me during the workout. That's the way to catch the football, Moses. So I thought to myself, I was like, my goodness, that's the coach from the Kansas <laughs> City Chiefs. He said, my dad. Right. So the workout fit. I go to my chair. I take off my gloves and cleats. The coach reaches out, shakes my hand, and he says, Moses, today you have just made it into the NFL. I went into that workout, my friends, just to serve my, uh, my teammate, Bill, and Jessica, but I was so grateful, and God blessed me to walk out with an NFL contract. So my story of helping others to be prepared for their opportunities had the opportunity to be steered on Oprah's live class a few years back. Man, that is awesome. I mean, congratulations on all your success. I bet you if Coach Prime was coaching back then, he'd have believed in you. Coach Prime would have had you out there. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> You know, Prime always lives by this example, but when you play good, when you feel good, you play good. And when they pay, when you play good, you feel good. And if they feel good, you get paid good. I know that's right. I know that's that's right. The point is that when you feel good, you play good. And uh, Prime is a great example of somebody that has inspired me throughout the course of my career sale. Man, that's great. J.J. Moses, uh, again, uh, your book, Focus, The Prepared to Win Mindset. Uh, it's out everywhere, right? We can pick it up anywhere? Yes, yeah, at Barnes & Noble, Amazon, or wherever books are sold. And, again, I'm just so grateful. Uh, we have some book signings, and we've collaborated with 
numerous of companies and businesses from Cree, Cologne, Nordstrom. Uh, we have an event with at Neiman Marcus coming up with a book signing in the next few weeks. So uh, we're grateful for all the opportunities that that are coming across uh, within Focus the Prepare to Win Mindset uh, new release. You on social media? People want to follow you? Yes, they can follow me on Instagram, JJMoses32. And I'm also, I have a website, JJMoses.com. And uh, definitely, if they have questions, I'm always on social media and, and hopefully look forward to connecting with you. Speaker, author, NFL player, uh, JJ Moses, thank you so much for checking in, my thank friend. We you. appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks again, Bill and Jessica. Stay focused, and I appreciate y'all. Have a great one. Please fasten your seatbelts. The voice.